things got to happen because you know the eye will still be playing with the ball and still be laughing. In this case, you know, so the S is ball here. But but the, so the S's will typically st be able to step up. I'm not sure if that answers they, they your make, question. They make more empathetic decisions. Yeah. yeah. Consider they not as quick to make a decision, right. but the decision mm -hmm. is often. They're taking a lot more into account, you know, and, and, and I mean, we'll talk about the D's decision making. D's do make very good decisions, very good prompt decisions for the task at hand. Mm -hmm. D's can make very quick, very accurate decisions most of the time, but sadly, and sometimes business decisions require that, where it doesn't really care about the people's feelings. But where you do are taking people's feelings into account, and S's are taking that, and of course, um, uh, okay, yeah. You see, they're dressed, they're more conservative in dress, manners, religion, politics, and business investments. They definitely lean towards the conservative side. Um, they can be often S's, uh, Matt, you talk about just uh, uh, occupations, diplomats, often are S's. So, um, where did I have that? I had something. Oh, I think I know. <clears throat> The magazine that the S will read will be Parents Magazine or Reader's Digest. Um, if they were aiming at a target, the S would forever be not ready aim fire, they would be ready, 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 still ready. If they had to pick a car, they would probably pick a van or a station wagon. Oh. Yep, it's true. I mean, you know, again, I am generalizing. What was you saying? We're not pigeonholing. No okay. Okay, so, so what are, I mean, you're getting an idea here of what the S is like. So what's the weaknesses? Um, they can be very stingy. S's can be stingy because they like their own space and they don't want to lose the st stability of, of, of their, losing their own boundaries. So they can appear to be stingy. Um, there you go. So because it's protecting their security, they can come across fearful sometimes, more fearful than some of the other particularly other uh, personality types or behavioral styles, I should say, uh, because they prefer proven procedures and situations that are reliable and predictive. So they can be very indecisive. Okay. Um, so, well, you can do it this way, or, or, or this way, or, or, or that way. So if they're going to come to you, they're going to give you three different ways. They're not going to say, "Hey, this is the way you should do it." It's going to be. Um, there's three ways to do it. I don't know. Um, they don't like to be wrong or create disharmony. Um, they'll often give you the, the answer that they think you want to hear. So S's have to be drawn out. If you want to get the honest opinion of a very high S, and, and you are married to a high S, Matt, <laughs> you, want to, you want to draw out exactly what they really or a feeling and what they mean by something because often they're just going to give you if you come home in a in a grumpy mood and you say man oh, and, and you ask them a question they're going to lean towards feeling like they want to give you the answer that you want to hear so you want you to get the real to get to the bottom of it they may not even know what they're feeling you've got to be very patient with an s and you have to draw out then you're going to get to the bottom of the of an S's of, of what they really believe in. Um, Gary Chapman, uh, in um, you know, how many of you have read Five Languages of Love? Okay, Gary Chapman in the Five Languages of Love talks about a, a, a woman, and I think I read it last year. But um, you know, there's a story about you know he says um, I, I copied it down here. He says uh, when a man came home, he, this is this is a story of a man who's learned to pull out his wife's S. Man comes home from his wife says to him, "You sure look tired." He replies. Are you saying that I look tired? He's asking the question back at her. She's saying, you look tired. So he says, you're saying I look tired? He says, she said, I know, I don't know if it's you tired or I'm tired. So he asks, are you saying that you feel tired? She says, I don't know if I'm tired or whether I just feel cooped up in this house. We never go anywhere or do anything anymore. So he responds, well, are you feeling like you would like to get out of the house and go and do something? And, and, and she says, well, maybe if we can go out and eat something, I'd feel better, you know. So she says, are you saying you'd like to go out and eat? She says, well, I know our finances are tight. Uh, maybe if we just went out for dessert or something like that, I'd feel like she's, uh, So he says, are you saying you want to go out and get some dessert? She says, oh, could we do that? She said, so off they went, happy. <laughs> See, so she didn't really know what she wanted. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
can't keep the cover to myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm, <bro. laughs> uh, they can appear to be, another S word is spectators. They can appear to be spectators and not wanting to get um, involved, as I said, that could be because of the, the whole conflict thing. Um, I know that that's definitely true in me. If I'm hearing a bunch of stuff, I don't have to say anything and I hear some strong opinions, unless I'm asked specifically. Otherwise, I'll just say, I'm going to just keep quiet right here, because if I say anything right now, they may not want to hear it. <laughs> uh, um, they can be, they got a fear of humiliation, well, because of suppose, but um, they don't want to disappoint you, I've said many times. They, they can be, have a, a lack of motivation. So the S's can be the people in your teams that are standing by waiting for instructions. You know, they don't know what to do. They just like, Thinking they're not taking any initiative because they because but rather than doing something wrong they just need direction they don't want to upset the apple cart I don't want to touch anything if maybe I'm not supposed to touch anything I don't know what I should do I don't want to get shouted at kind of thing okay so they make excellent diplomats because of their ability to see other people's perspective excellent school teachers excellent technicians nurses accountants uh, bank tellers um, secretaries People, people. Um, um, they they don't see people as interruptions, but they see people as their business. So um, they are typically another S and S is the salt of the earth. So again, appreciation is the basic motivation. Security and assurance is what you can give them. Um, and S will in, will thrive in environments of specialization or a group of people or um, an established work pattern that doesn't change. They like that, as I said, routine. And if they need um, a consistent, familiar environment. They respond better to a leader who is relaxed and amiable, um, who allows time for them to change plans, who serves as a friend, um, who allows people to work at their own pace and defines clear goals for them. So if, if you don't define clear goals for an S, you'll get, you get, you get frustrated results. Tell them exactly what you expect of them. Um, S's need to learn something too, or like with each one. Um, they, that change provides opportunity. They need to learn that change is necessary and that gives opportunity. That friendship isn't everything. There's more than just friendship. Discipline is good and it's alright to say no. And that being a servant doesn't make you a sucker. Okay, so that's pretty comprehensive. Any questions about the S? Touch on that? We're done. Okay, so who's the C's? I C's. Keep them up. I'll write them down. Who's above the line? Above the who's, line? who's got an extremely I like number one is high C. Foreign. Jerry, you, yours is highest. Oh, you got a tie with S and C. I and C. Interesting. You're you're a high C. It's not my highest, but it's my second. Okay. Where is your C? Do you remember? It's above the line. But I mean, how far is it um, close it was, to your... It was pretty significant higher. It was like 78, somewhere in there. I think so. Are there five of you? You're in that? Yeah. There's quite a bunch. JC's is... <coughs> well, you're above the line. You are above the line. Okay. Uh, Sandra, what do you want? What do I want? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we did S is above the line, so I suppose C is above the line. And now you get more people. C's above the line. Above the line. Okay. Jerry's one. You know what? Let's change it. How many? If you were high S, S is your highest, would you please raise your hand? Okay. Can you read them to me? It's you mean the people's names? Yeah. Well, Tori, Tori, Harley, okay, you Sarah, 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 Harley, Chris, Harley, Sarah. Thank you. Okay. Ocean. 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 Okay, thanks. D, D, D is the highest. <coughs> She's got you, Jerry. Gotcha, thank you. Thank you, Jerry. Okay, so 
the C on the graph, I mean on this, on this uh, simple pie chart, is obviously the introvert, so or the reserved task person. Yet remember that when I'm, I've got some handouts that I'm going to get to you, that I'm going to give you uh, at the end of the class, and I'll just tell you a little bit about this handout. Um, it's a it's a double page. It's 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 called keys and adapt keys and adapting and um, communication, and it's little things that we can you can read through. Um, Read through it carefully. This is very easy to workshop if you're in an environment or with a team. I know this is very simplistic. It's just a very short thing. But when you discuss with your group, whatever they are, if you sit down, say, for in your church or whatever, your, your team, and you said, okay, this is how you can adapt your communication. Um, because remember, because you're, the tendency, just like in five languages of love, is the way to communicate you like to be communicated to. So, if you're a C, like my wife Karen is, she likes to, she loves details, and details are super important to her. So, because she communicates with other people, she thinks her tendency, her natural tendency would be to think that everybody wants as much details as she wants. Well, that's not necessarily true. Oh, it's flat out not Because <laughs> 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 D's obviously... Oh, for Pete's sake, get to the bottom line. <laughs> okay. So, but this this helps you. It's because when you when it says what when you're talking to a high C, when you're communicating with a high C, bear this in mind. When you're communicating with a high D or a high S or a high N, those are things to adapt your communication to. So, okay. So that's what I'll, I'll give you one of these. I just don't want to give them to you now. Otherwise, you're going to be reading this now rather than focusing on. On this other thing because we've got different information so let's just do the C so C's I mean isn't God amazing isn't you know to me I'll tell you what if you've been a parent and you've had more than one child it's amazing that none, no two children are alike they can be raised in the same home with the same value system if they were twins they can be treated the same way. They will have a different personality or a different behavioral style. To me, isn't that proof that God is is God? I mean, isn't it amazing that there hasn't been a generation where, you know, all the children were S's? Can you imagine? <laughs> or all the children were D's? Or all the children were I's? Can you imagine? They were, there's just not been that. It really is an amazing thing. So everyone has against, got their strengths and weaknesses. Now, C's are task and reserve people. They are um, 20 to 25 percent of, of the world's population. So a fifth to a quarter of them are C's. And uh, so C words are cautious, competent, calculating, concerned, careful, and contemplative. And their thought pattern is why. They are asking the why question. Why? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing it this way? Uh, what? What are we? Why are we working on this job? Why was I assigned this task? Why am I sitting in this class right now? You know, whatever it is. Why? They they want why. So so their basic need. Yes. Can I ask a question? Those of you who this pertains to, if you get the why answer, is that satisfactory? Does that make you feel good? And then you, you don't need other questions answered? Like for a project, I give you the why, you go, okay, sweet. And then you're good to go? As long as I agree with that. Yes. <laughs> so I, I'm, about, I'm, in, I'm about to get to this next one. Okay. Their basic need, you know, what what is the S's basic need? Uh, appreciation. 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 The, the, the C's basic need is quality answers. Yes. Quality answer. It's be so it's not just an answer, okay. it has to be a quality answer. So, and, and correctness is definitely part of it. It's quite, I mean, correctness is an identifier. Like, I mean, Corin and I, I will be with anybody and, and I'll say, yeah, it's about 50 miles. And Corin will jump in immediately. No, it's not. It's 46.5 miles. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, babe, you're right. It's about 50 miles. <laughs> I thought I said about it, but never mind. But, but you're but, keeping the <laughs> status quo. Yes. Way to go, man. But Corin will be right. It will be 46.5 miles. In this. She, so they, they are they're extremely competent individuals. Um, they know what they know, and 
they, they've done their homework, typically C's have done their homework, they've checked it twice, so they, they are the guys that measure twice or three times, they know exactly the information, they, they, look, before, they, they look before they leap, um, their, their motto could be plan your work and work your plan, you know, they are definitely the plan, so they, they are fairly cautious, so um, the, remember that I said like if you were aiming at a target, the S would be ready, okay, ready, ready, well, theirs would be ready, aim, 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 because they've got to be, they got to hit that spot exactly. They do not like making mistakes, do not like, so definitely, they are very careful, they'll, they'll make a photocopy of a page, and then look at it and see, hmm, what if there's any differences here? You know, they, you know, they are, they are going to, they are going to, they are going to, pretty much, <laughs> I am exaggerating a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so they're calculating and they'll just see where it's calculating us in. Um, they do think in terms of the bottom line. Um, they're known for their ability to use critical thinking. C's very good at critical thinking. Um, they can analyze a situation probably better than any of the other person. They, if they want an, an analysis of something, you'll see. I mean, so you can imagine, immediately what comes to mind, like a CPA, an accountant, anybody that's going to use scientists, NASA, astronomers, you know, all those kind of, be precise, a lot of precise work, researchers are all going to be in this category, for sure. They are going to be the research and developers, because they are going to get it right, they're going to analyze, they're going to be checking it out. So, um, uh, because, the, because they really see and understand situations, they, they are often... And they have an almost uncanny ability to see behind things because they understand what's really going on. So um, they also, they very much demand compliance, just like I gave an example I gave you. It's like, no, no, it's 46.5. You've got to get it right. Don't say that again. <laughs> you know, it's, they compliance. They follow, uh, they follow instructions to the letter and they can't understand what others don't. Why are, you know, so they very much read the instructions, do it exactly like the instructions say. <laughs> So, um, they, um, uh, I'm going to go here, conscientious, another good C word, very conscientious. They will stay on task uh, long after people have, other people have given up. They love jigsaw puzzles, crosswords, brain teasers. Um, life is precious to them. They love details. You get into a talk, as I mentioned, the details. Um, they like intimate details. I mean, Corin knows everything about all of you people here because she's probably been onto Facebook. We thought I was trying to make this They love to be correct. Um, and, and they love to be correct. Now, this, can be, this can often be interpreted by other behavioral styles as the need to be right. Um, but it's not that. It's just they, they're not, or, or, or it can be, they, can, they can be thought of um, as you're trying to be better than, why are you trying to be better than everybody else? It's not like they're trying to be better than anybody else. They just like to have it accurately done. Like, remember, their basic need is, is, is quality answers. Uh, if you're going to do a job at all, do it right. Um, they tend to be conformists because they want to do the tried and proven thing that works. Um, and they like control. Another good C word is control. Um, they are convinced because of they, they know their stuff. I'm convinced it's like that because they've done their homework. So convinced, consistent. Um, you can almost set your watch by a C. Okay. Because they'll do, like I said, very precise work. Okay, um, and then the biblical example would probably be Thomas. Okay. Thomas? <laughs> Not because he's just checking out the evidence. Okay? Mm -hmm. I can see it's Jesus, but we just sure. Show me for real. I want to see the evidence. I want to Google you and see if you really are Jesus. <laughs> Why not? Those scars are the same place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Eyes would love to wing it. Hey man, let's just go over the party, we'll just wing it, we'll find somewhere in the place. No, not a C. They, they, need, they, want to, they want to know that when they hit the road, 
They know how long they're going to drive, how long it's going to be, where they're going to stop, where they're going to sleep tonight. They we know. And where that would drive eyes kind of crazy because it's like, man, just relax. Let's just go on a drive and stop where we can stop and be adventurous or something, you know. Some some sees that's that's not their fun thing to do. They like to to know where they're going to be. Um, so I told you. Um, a quality answer, if it's not a good answer, it's, if it's not an accurate answer, it's not an answer at all. Um, yeah, so if you ask, when are you leaving for the, a C, if a C asks you a question, hey, when are you leaving for the airport? They don't want to hear tomorrow. They want to know, I'm flying Southwest 216. I'm departing at 6.15 at Teletel at Coast Inn and so and so is taking me to the airport. That's what a C is actually asking. They want, they want specific. So they want to know exactly how much they're expected. They want to know. So when you just look at them and say, tomorrow, it's like, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> um, okay, so strengths. Um, a C is extremely gifted, very bright, 